Welcome to our lesson about working with relations in SOLIDWORKS 2011. To view more of our lessons, please visit video-tutorials.net. Let's begin with a new part document. We'll select New. And now let's click on Part and click OK. Let's insert a sketch on the top plane. Right-click on the top plane, New Sketch. Now let's activate the Line tool. I left-click. Notice that when the rubber band is in the vertical and horizontal positions, I see a glyph that appears next to the line. This is a relation symbol. Here's the horizontal relation symbol. Here's the vertical relation symbol. Now while that symbol is visible, if I place the second point of my line with a left-click, I will automatically apply that suggested relation. The glyph appears in green next to the line. Let me continue my line. When I rubber band into the horizontal or vertical positions, again the relations are suggested. Let's create another line, and a third line here. You may notice that two yellow intersecting lines have appeared. These are called feedback lines. Here's the perpendicular glyph or symbol. Here's the collinear relation symbol. Let's create a couple more lines and right-click and select to close the tool. In order to apply relations to some of the geometry I've created, I need to select the entities. Let's select some lines here. We select them with a Control Select. Now let's activate the Line tool. And let's create a line about here. As I continue to move the mouse, the lines that I selected are now highlighted. Here's the Parallel Relation symbol. Let's left-click to automatically accept that relation. Now notice that the other two lines that I didn't select at the beginning of this exercise, they don't react to my cursor movements. To wake up those lines, I just need to touch them or scratch them with the mouse, not necessarily click on them. Now when I move the cursor, the line becomes highlighted, and the parallel relation symbol will appear in relation to that line. Left-click to accept that relation and place the second point of the line. And let's right-click and select to close the tool. Now in our graphic area, we've got three parallel relations. The number next to the relation identifies which parallel relation the entity belongs to. When I mouse over a relation, I see a callout stating the type of relation as well as the entity name. The corresponding entities are highlighted in pink. Let's double-click on the relation. Now we've got the option to delete or suppress that relation. And now we see the suppressed relation grayed out in the graphic area. We're able to move the geometry. These lines are no longer parallel. Let's double click again and unsuppress. OK. And let's select this point here. We'll add what's called a fix relation. Basically, this means the point becomes fixed in space, parked, if you will. I'm not able to move it. Let's try dragging my geometry around a little bit. SOLIDWORKS will maintain my existing relations. Let's double-click here. And let's suppress this relation, except. Now when I drag this geometry around, the corresponding geometry remains stationary. OK. Another way to add relations, for example, is to control select these two points. As you see here, we selected point 5. We don't have any existing relations between these points. We're able to choose from four different relations horizontal, vertical, fix, and merge. Let's select merge and click OK to accept. If you made a mistake, you can go to Edit and Undo. Control Z is your shortcut. Let's click an empty space to deselect everything. Now if I select a sketch entity, I see my existing relations right here. I can highlight and press Delete. Click OK. We deleted Parallel Relation 2. Let's Edit and Undo. And let's deselect everything again. Now let's drag select everything in our graphic area. Press the Delete key on your keyboard again. Let's activate the three-point arc tool. 
And we'll place our first point. Second point determines the length of the arc, and third point the radius. Now I've got an arc with a 180 degree angle. Let's left click and create a second arc now. Here we've got a coincident relation symbol. Let's place a second point. And when I move the mouse, the feedback lines appear to guide me. The second 180 degree angle appears here. As you see, the tangent relation appears at this point. Let's create one more arc. Place our point here, coincident with this point. And our second point, our third point. Right click and select. Now let's control select these two arcs and add the tangent relation manually. OK. Let's select this arc here. Activate the line tool. And drop the first point about here. Now we can create a tangent line and a normal line, or a line that goes through the center of the arc. Let's create a tangent line, a second tangent line. Let's create one more line that goes through the center of the arc and is normal to the curve. Notice that when I try to do the same thing here, this point stays dormant. Let's right click and select. Let's drag select everything and delete it. Press delete on your keyboard. Let's create one more three point arc. First point, second point, and radius, something like this. Right click and select to close the tool. Now let's activate the line tool. We'll hover our mouse over here to place a coincident point. There's the coincident relation. As you see, we've got a rubber band effect. In other words, we can create a line that's tangent to the arc at any point. Right click and select to close the tool. And this concludes our introduction to working with sketch relations in SOLIDWORKS 2011. For many more lessons about SOLIDWORKS, please visit our website at video-tutorials.net.